working on this 2014 BMW X6. Uh, X5 is similar as well. This uh, this X6 starts from 08, 09 all the way to 14, 15 plate. Uh, the ABS pump has been changed, so now we've got this light and it keeps bringing up these faults. And um, what needs to happen now is coding in. And uh, I'm just waiting for the full scan to happen and I'll show you what the fault is on the ABS section. Um, however, the car has had a dead battery as well, hence why you're getting all these faults. Um, but we'll dig into it and see what it brings and then code it in from there. So, not really bothered about the rest. It's this one here, dynamic stability control sensor. That's present out of them all. That's the bit that needs coded in for everything to kind of vanish. So we'll come back out of this and the way to do it on this hotel, this is the hotel Maxis MS908. 8s pro um, you can do a lot of coding and programming with it uh, however it's not as good as dealer software obviously but um, it does probably a good 60 70 percent of what dealer does for bmw uh, it's an all-round for every car to be fair so we'll just um go into that and then chassis and suspension and then from here we'll just do the once you're in the chassis just go into traction control system and then it's this one here that pairs pairs it up um, we'll click yes um, Continue Steering obviously needs to be straight um, That's fine It will now tell us to take the key out as far as I know But we shall see So that's fine That's all good So it pings up with the faults So now it tells us to turn the car off Take the ignition out and wait for a few seconds, what, 10 seconds. This will solve the traction light. However, it, I doubt it'll fix the slanted red um, car. That'll be to do with um, a ride height level sensor as far as I know, but we'll find out anyway. So let's um, press continue. So here is fine all finished and as you can see so if i turn it on you see i doubt it will get rid of that anyway because that's to do with the ride height level sensor however the as you can see that's all gone and if we come back out of this and um going to do a full scan hopefully we'll erase everything and see what comes back so up here we are after doing a full diagnostic scan that's what's come up and i'm pretty sure this is to do with that on the screen we shall find out in a few seconds. That's what's come up. And what this tells me is actually that there's not enough oil in the ABS system. So we'll have to top up some oil and hopefully that shouldn't be present. That should be uh, intermittent afterwards. And hopefully, I'm hoping that will disappear as well because that's all related to this. In the past, that has that could be anything really but it, the ones that i've done in the past have been like ride height level sensor which is very common in the land rover range Rover discovery the vogue the sport um it's very common in them in bms i guess it is but in this one it's actually come back as this one 